in the background of this video, you see the world's best white rapper of all time. But here in the bottom right corner, you see me talking about the Steelers passing attack. Big Ben ranked the last in the NFL per PFF grade on play action passes. But good news is he didn't throw a lot of play action passes. In fact, uh, where's the where's the data at? I don't know, but he threw the least in the NFL from play action. True story. He led the league in pass attempts from the shotgun. He had the most pass attempts in the NFL under 10 yards. However, he was 26th in explosive pass play percentage. This is a very safe game manager not throwing it down the field quarterback. He gets the ball out in under 2.5 seconds last year, 76% of the time. The league average is just 58%. He was PFF's 24th graded quarterback overall with a 6.3 A dot, 36th in the NFL. No, 6.3 yards per attempt, rather. His A dot of 8.1 was not very good. His 57, or he had 57 fewer play action pass attempts than the second, the Steelers, rather, had 57 fewer play action pass attempts than the second lowest team. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, this line's awful, okay? Um, Big Ben is not very good. He's throwing the ball, dink and dunk underneath, and barely ever pushing it down the field, okay? The A dot of the three Pittsburgh receivers are Deontay Johnson at 8.3, which is nice middle ground, Juju at an abysmal 6.6, .6, and Chase Claypool at a whopping 13.1, okay? Deontay Johnson misses essentially three games last year, but he still racked up 144 targets for 88 catches, 923 yards, and seven scores, okay? Um, actually, let me go over here. Let me go over here and click on Pro Football Reference. Let me click on the link that I was trying to get to here. This is the best YouTubing you have seen ever. Let's go in here. Let's go in here and click on this. Boom. Look at that, fellas. Incredible. As you can see. Where the fuck is that? Oh, right here. <laughs> Let's go here. Let's let's go right here. Let's go right here actually. Okay. Um as you can see, all these receivers are similarly productive, okay? But Deontay gets fed targets and both Chase Claypool and Juju play sixteen games while Deontay plays three entire less games than them. His ADA is in the middle, okay? And um he is the most productive slightly, okay, but um still the most productive. Deontay Johnson is this team's wide receiver one, okay? He is the team wide receiver one. He has more potential for touchdowns, as you can see here, given that he only had seven touchdowns on this many targets versus this. I mean, come on. You get the point. You see it, right, guys? But um, given that Big Ben is going to be likely more conservative this year somehow, um, he's. I mean, he's not great, not going to push it on the field. Uh, the only piece I really want here is Deontay. I would want Juju, but I mean, he just doesn't look, look like the same player that we... That we, that we uh, fell in love with with AB. Chase Claypool, I can't get on board because Big Ben is just such a bad passer, right? I mean, Deontay is going to be the target hog. He's he, he's getting the the second uh, uh, the second farthest A dot. I mean, he just seems like he is the easy pick here receiver. Juju, he just he just isn't that guy anymore. He's he's not the guy, pal. I don't see upside for Juju. Chase Claypool, I mean, Big Ben doesn't throw the ball a far enough downfield for him to work, you know. I mean, Claypool is a big play receiver, but Big Ben is not a big play quarterback. I think Deontay is easily the pick here out of all the Steelers. So um, don't draft Big Ben, but go ahead go ahead and draft Deontay. I mean, this guy was an absolute target hog, and targets are all that matters. Oh, also, he had, uh, I believe, 12 drops, and drops are not predictive. You know what I'm saying? He's going to catch a couple of those, maybe maybe a couple more scores. Couple, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's that guy. Go ahead and draft Deontay and uh, re reap the benefits of a good receiver.